with Professor John Dewar, Vice-Chancellor of La Trobe University and Chair of Universities Australia. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you today to celebrate and recognise excellence in university teaching. I'd like to begin today by acknowledging that this event and our participants are located on the lands of many traditional custodians across Australia. Universities Australia acknowledges and celebrates the knowledge and culture of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. As the first inhabitants of this land, they have been teaching about the world and country for millennia. We acknowledge the continuing role of stewardship of culture and country that rests with Indigenous peoples and we pay our respects to Elders past and present. I'd also like to acknowledge all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples tuning in today. As the new academic year commences, I'd like to extend my warmest welcome back to campus life. For the many students and staff who've been unable to return to our shores, we hope it won't be long before you can also come back to Australia. We've all endured two of the most challenging years Australian universities have ever faced. This is especially true for our teaching staff, who've constantly had to navigate and adapt teaching and learning practices to support students in response to the pandemic. Our amazing teachers have every reason to be very proud. The latest student experience survey saw student satisfaction remain stable in spite of the turbulence of 2021. So congratulations, this is a real testament to your hard work and determination. I've heard so many stories of the way our teaching staff have gone above and beyond and shown extraordinary commitment to students struggling through the pandemic. So on behalf of the sector, I want to thank all university teachers for continuing to deliver quality, consistency and inspiration to our students. Today we'll recognise outstanding achievements from our colleagues over the last year. The Australian Awards for University Teaching celebrates an amazing group of people who've dedicated their careers to university teaching and learning. So now I'm going to hand over to our awards director, Professor Angela Carboni, to begin the awards ceremony. I'll be back shortly to announce the Career Achievement Award and the Australian University Teacher of the Year Award for 2021. Thank you, Professor John Dewa, and welcome everyone to the announcement of the 2021 Australian Awards for University Teaching. I'm Professor Angela Carboni, the Associate Deputy Vice-Chancellor Learning, Teaching and Quality in the STEM College at RMIT and also the Director of the Australian Awards for University Teaching. Last year, we faced another year of lockdowns and educators were having to pivot between face-to-face, -face, online and hybrid modes of delivery. As we explore these new forms of delivery, we're also rethinking our practice and finding ways to innovate to provide our students with the best learning experience. And today, I'm proud to acknowledge the work of some of our best educators. This year, we received 184 entries in total across all of the award categories. We had 131 citations, 20 program awards, 33 teaching awards, and we also received nine nominations for the Career Achievement Award. Each application underwent a comprehensive assessment from our dedicated team of 159 assessors. There were three distinct stages to the assessment for each category. Stage one was the individual assessment stage. All the assessors individually reviewed the submissions based on a set of criteria. In stage two, the collaborative assessment stage and moderation stage, all the assessors come together virtually in their assigned teams and collectively they shortlist the submissions. At this stage, they may also change the assessment that they gave individually. In stage three, that's when the awards committee received the final recommendations. They review those recommendations from the assessment panels and they either confirm or modify the assessment before they recommend and have it signed off by Universities Australia Board of Directors. To our 159 assessors, I sincerely thank you for devoting your time and effort in making considered and tough decisions. Without your continued commitment, dedication and passion, a celebration like this 
would not be possible. Next, we'll be announcing the award recipients. The recipients for the 2021 Australian Awards for University Teaching in the categories of Citations, Program Awards and Teaching Awards will now be announced. Citations recognise and reward the diversity of contributions made by individuals and teams to the quality of student learning. This year, 78 citations are awarded to recipients from the following states. Australian Capital Territory. New South Wales. South Australia. Western Australia. Queensland. Victoria. These awards are for programs and services that enhance learning and improve the quality of student experience in higher education. This year, four program awards go to Edith Cowan University for Inclusion in Action. Edith Cowan's purposeful whole of institution inclusion program spans the student life cycle and adopts contemporary evidence-informed approaches that since 2017 has seen the university extend its exceptional performance in quilt surveys and more significantly generate considerable improvements in student learning. Griffith University Bachelor of Pharmacy program. This program has successfully used a whole of program approach to develop future capable, work ready and influential pharmacy graduates, improving students' graduate employment outcomes. Monash University's Integrating Science and Practice Authentic Learning and Assessment Program. This program offers a strong pedagogical approach to the challenges facing universities in preparing science students for practice-ready graduates who are critical thinkers and able to act with morally infused deliberation. And the final program award goes to the University of Wollongong for Jinder Dola. Jinder Dola is a program aimed at embedding Aboriginal knowledges and perspectives into the curriculum, following a traditional Aboriginal approach for conducting business. Jinder Dola brings together knowledges and people from various faculties, schools, business units, and local Aboriginal communities for the purposes of knowledge creation learning development and sharing a journey towards curriculum reconciliation. The Teaching Awards celebrate a group of the nation's most outstanding university teachers who have made a significant contribution to enhancing the quality of learning and teaching in higher education. This year, there are eight recipients of Teaching Awards. And they are Dr. Bonnie McBain from the University of Newcastle. Over the past decade, Bonnie has transformed higher education thinking about the design of science and sustainability curriculum. By co-developing and applying a new participatory approach of curriculum design called collaborative curriculum design, she has enabled science graduates to hone their skills and address wicked problems such as climate change, where the causes are complex and transcend disciplinary boundaries. Associate Professor Vinod Gopalan, Griffith University. Vinod is a passionate teacher who has led innovation and student success in histopathology education. 
Vinod's student-centred approach incorporates workplace and discipline-informed experiential learning approaches that explicitly embed theory into practice by engaging students in deep approaches to learning to support academic success and self-confidence. Associate Professor Michelle Lazarus from Monash University. Effective healthcare education balances medical knowledge learning opportunities with exposure to authentic clinical contexts, which are intrinsically complex and uncertain. Uncertainty tolerance is thus a critical clinical skill required for effective healthcare practice. Michelle is the first scholar to identify an approach to foster learning, learner uncertainty tolerance in historically theoretical content heavy courses. Associate Professor Katerina Tiawa, the Australian National University. Katerina is a visionary teacher, mentor and leader who has made an outstanding contribution to Pacific studies in Australia and globally. She contributes to many aspects of Pacific affairs, climate change, the arts and environmental justice in and beyond the classroom. Dr. Amberlyn Kwamulina, the University of Western Australia. Amberlyn is awarded in both categories of society and culture, as well as the Neville Bonner Award for Indigenous Education. Amberlyn is a First Nations law academic who comes from the Palaku people of the Pilbara region of Western Australia. Her work focuses on developing and delivering content related to First Nations peoples to best practice standards and on transforming teaching and learning spaces to be respectful of First Nations peoples, knowledges and cultures. Dr. Diana Tolmy Griffith University. Diana is recognised as a world leading pioneer in innovative course design that reforms the education ethos of the original 19th century conservatoire archetype. For over two decades, she has dedicated her energies in evaluating the status of the professional musician and ensuring graduates possess the tools and knowledge to adapt and transform an industry and profession that continues to be challenged. Dr. Nick Brown, RMIT University. Nick has a passion for creating and delivering innovative teaching practices that inspire and empowers engineers to apply their skills for poverty alleviation and social justice. As the inaugural lecturer in humanitarian engineering at RMIT University, Nick has been at the forefront of this new teaching era and pivotal in developing high quality transformational experiences that remain with students long after they've graduated. And finally, Dr. Catherine O'Brien, Queensland University of Technology. Catherine is an educational leader in the area of physical education, teacher education. She has pioneered an immersive approach to blended learning that draws on innovative digital technology peer teaching, real world observations and authentic assessment. To all the university educators, I trust you'll continue to develop new creative and innovative curricula and resources to improve the educational experiences of our students. Now back to Professor John Dewar to announce the Teacher of the Year and the Career Achievement Award. Thanks very much, Angela, and well done to the award winners. Now to the Australian University Teacher of the Year Award and I'm delighted to announce that the 2021 award goes to Associate Professor Katerina Tewa of the Australian National University. Congratulations and now we're going to hear from Katerina. Kamna Maori and Nisambola Vinaka 
I'm Katarina Tewa, an Associate Professor in Pacific Studies in the School of Culture, History and Language at the Australian National University. Pacific Studies is an exciting field of interdisciplinary area studies exploring the diverse and dynamic space of Oceania, a region that covers one third of the whole planet. Australia is in Oceania and this neighbourhood is critical to Australian identities, foreign affairs and urgent action on climate change. Every Australian at all levels of education and those bordering this ocean or with deep interests in it needs to engage and understand much more about Pacific peoples, histories, cultures and environments. Even though we are far from the sea, we can imagine ourselves as the crew of a metaphorical canoe learning and working collaboratively on board a vessel where everyone is humbled and empowered, knows each other's names and roles, and no one gets left behind. Katarina's critical and creative teaching and research methods in Pacific Studies was something I had never encountered before at the university, a place that I previously thought to be alienating and not a place that was for me as a Pacific student. Katarina is a phenomenal educator, researcher and mentor whose powerful and transformative pedagogy has enabled my own intellectual and spiritual growth as a student. In 2020, just as we were heading into the COVID lockdown, I began convening Asia Pacific Week, a long-standing annual event that brings together young professionals and students from across the world to learn from each other and leading experts on Asia and the Pacific. My goal here was to center the Pacific in our regional map and empower students to develop invaluable organizational communication and problem-solving skills while building connections and friendships across the world. Students have now delivered two very successful virtual events featuring fascinating discussions on critical issues with Australian scholars and political leaders, as well as fun and inspiring activities. I connect with students in many ways as a teacher, mum, artist, dancer, researcher and Pacific media commentator. Sharing all these facets inspires students to be engaged throughout our courses, appreciating the learning journey as much as the final destination of essays or research projects. Most of my classes feature embodied knowledges such as Pacific dance, and this can be both challenging and empowering as students learn how to connect dance to Pacific values, identities, or issues such as gender relations. Teaching and learning dance demonstrates how there are other ways important to understand and connect with the Pacific beyond lectures, scholarly literature, and policy reports. My vision for Pacific Studies is that it is taught at all levels of education throughout Australia from primary and secondary school to university programs. I founded Australia's first undergraduate degree in Pacific Studies, working with many colleagues and communities, and this field has been transformative for so many students who have boarded our metaphorical learning canoe over the last 14 years. Her teaching has allowed for my own self-actualization and that of a chorus of many other students over the years who have had the opportunity to take a class with her. This dynamic region and Pacific, Pacifica and South Sea Islander communities here in Boyond, Australia have so much more to teach us about our vast sea of islands. Last year, Universities Australia brought back the Career Achievement Award. This award goes to one or more individuals who've made an outstanding contribution to teaching and learning. For 2021, the award goes to Adjunct Professor John Biggs, AM, of the University of Tasmania. Congratulations, John. Professor Biggs has had a profound impact on approaches to the design of curriculum, assessment and learning in higher education in Australia and overseas. His development of the solo taxonomy, structure of the observed learning outcome, and notably his articulation of the model of constructive alignment have shaped the practice of an entire generation of tertiary educators in Australia and beyond. Professor Biggs' works are highly influential and widely cited. Teaching for quality learning at university has garnered over 21,000 citations since its publication in 1999. And his achievements have left an enduring legacy and continue to be a major influence on the quality of learning in Australia and across the world. And that concludes our virtual award ceremony for today. Congratulations again to all the recipients of the 2021 Australian Awards for University Teaching and an enormous thank you to our awards committee chairs. Thank you to everyone who's joined us online to recognise the achievements of today's award winners. 
If you'd like to learn more about the 2021 winners or how to apply for next year's awards, please visit the University's Australia website.